search for Joseph Couch is in its 11th day, and still law enforcement says they have not been able to find him. Couch is accused of carrying out a shooting on I-75 that left five people injured. WKYT's Jessica Umbro was in London this afternoon and heard from state and local leaders about how the search for Couch will change beginning today. Governor Andy Bashir called today day one of the next phase of the search for Joseph Couch, not calling the shift in law enforcement presence a reduction, but rather a reallocation of resources. The deployment of our resources into the community now provides a better public safety outcome, a better deterrent than simply continuing uh, the manhunt at its current levels. After searching approximately 28,000 acres of the Daniel Boone National Forest, Governor Bashir and law enforcement say they're refocusing their search for accused I-75 shooter Joseph Couch. From what we have discovered so far in this search, this is the best plan moving forward. It was made clear that this change does not mean that the search for Couch is over. This is still an open and an active investigation. Uh, we will work just as hard continuing down this path as we have from day one. We will not live our lives in fear. We will move forward together and yes, we will get through this together. Tips are still being strongly encouraged with it being shared that out of the approximately 400 tips that have been submitted, a bulk of them have pointed out of the Daniel Boone National Forest. In London, Jessica Umbro, WKYT. And anyone with information about Joseph Couch's whereabouts are still being encouraged to call it in to law enforcement.